Hi, in this video, I'm going to tell you why I'm going to ditch the XLOOKUP function in MS Excel. No, I'm not crazy. My mother had me checked. And I'm neither pulling an April Fool prank on you. I am serious. But here is the respite. I'm going to ditch it only for approximate matches. And let me show you why. See, I've got a table with stock prices downloaded. I've got another table with 10,000 values for dates and it is all dynamic arrays. I'm going to XLOOKUP to pull the prices into this table. The data did get loaded pretty fast. But there are some dates in here that were missing in the original table and hence I'm getting an NA error. So let me try to do an approximate match for the next lower item and press enter. And let me also start the clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tock, tick tock. At last we are done. Now it's a large data, I agree. But instead of XLOOKUP, let me try it with the erstwhile lookup function. Did you see the speed? I didn't even get a chance to blink my eye. One limitation of the lookup function is that the lookup value had to be sorted in ascending order. But in Office 365, I can overcome that by using the sort and sort by function inside the formula. So I can sort the lookup vector and sort the result vector by the lookup vector. And we are done. Let me try to shuffle the date column in the table. See the table is large so it's taking a few seconds. Now it's shuffled and you do notice that the lookup function results are just the same as what XLOOKUP gave. But well XLOOKUP can also match for the next larger item. Lookup function can only do approximate match for the lower end. So what can we do if we need to approximate on the upper end? This can be done by using a combination of index and match. So I'm going to sort the vectors in the descending order and once that is done we can use the match function to do an approximate match for the next higher item. Then we can pull the result with the index function. It causes a small lag but it's definitely faster than the XLOOKUP function that I'm going to try again now. Let's all pray to God to give us all the patience we need. And if you're an atheist, just count the sheeps for a while. Let's count them and pray. Oh. As you can see here, XLOOKUP is causing tremendous slowdown in performance compared to the lookup and the index match alternative. But do we need to write such a lengthy code if you want to avoid the XLOOKUP? Well, that's where the latest lambda function comes in handy. See, I have created a few functions like LLOOKUP and ULOOKUP that looks for approximate match for the lower and upper end respectively. So all I'm going to do is type equals LLOOKUP, lookup value, comma, lookup vector, comma, result vector, and it's done. Similarly, I can use ULOOKUP with almost the same syntax to look up for approximate match on the upper end. And again, we are done. I even created an ILOOKUP function which mimics the XLOOKUP but it's much faster than XLOOKUP for approximate matches. But it is a bit slow when it comes to exact matches. So we can use XLOOKUP for exact matches. You could try this LLOOKUP and ULOOKUP for approximate matches on the lower and upper end. And if you were looking for this file, check out the link in the description below. So that's it for now. And see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.